Trend Trendsetter here at the Chicago Comic Con, where I am in fact knee deep in geek. <laughs> See, dorks from around the world come here to fill their nerdiest fantasies, and I have to admit, I'm a little scared and a little titillated, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so funny. Oh, but seriously, this is where the true fans show up. The hardcore fans. The uber, uber, uber fans. I'm standing next to a man dressed up as Harry Potter. Sir, why did you choose Harry Potter? I am not Harry Potter, I'm Harry Dresden. Did he also go to Hogwarts? No. What made you want to dress up today as an Oompa Loompa? I am standing next to what I believe are Scientology monks who have come here to recruit people. Is that what you guys are here for? No. 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 Yeah, that's who I am. Star Wars, right? No. I take it you're a dishwasher. Nobody mess with the Jesus mom. Harry Potter can suck it. Like Gandalf. Star Trek? No. I'm a guardian. A guardian? A guardian. Do you guard the candy at Willy Wonka's uh, factory? Well, I guard a little more than that, but yeah. You guard the chocolate lake. <laughs> well, it appears now that I'm standing with somebody who really likes Good Charlotte. Battlestar Galactica, maybe? I got it. I got it. You ate the gum, didn't you? You ate the gum, and now you're gonna get all... And, you know, they're gonna have to squeeze you, right? Oh, oh, sorry. Warcraft? Sure. Awesome. So is this like some kind of like weird guitar thing here? Like, yeah, how do you, how the do you, Buster Sword. How do you play it? You smash it upside someone's head. It is hour number two at the Chicago Comic Con and tensions are high. They seem to be even higher when I talk to people. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. For some reason they don't like me. I don't understand. I'm being accommodating, but... You know, we'll see how this day goes. Hopefully, I'll relax a few people, you know, get them talking, you know, that's... I'm an interviewer. I'm good at that, right? We're from Tank Girl. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> but I love working here. Don't get me wrong. I love it. It's great. I get to see all sorts of interesting f people. I'm standing here with a cop that's carrying around weed. I must say, that is a fantastic Neo costume. It's awesome. There. Actually, I'm the guy yeah. from Tron. Really? Tron Jesus. I'm Zoe. Well, Zoe, huh? Wow, that's a nice little costume you got there, Zoe. Uh, you want to uh, wanna go somewhere after the show? Or, uh, you know, are you doing anything after the con or whatever? You know? What are you guys supposed to be then if you're not Scientology monks? So? That's how they're dressing the acolytes now. It's to get us in with the younger crowd. Jesus. Tron Jesus. So can I pray to you? Yes. Are you my savior? Pray for hot women and beer. That's an awfully big gun you have there. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. We got a uh, mini bar up in my room if uh, you're interested. Uh, are you old enough to drink, darling? I just want to make sure. I've been fooled before, you know. There's hot women around here, and I think we can get booze back someplace. It's next to a taco shop around here. Uh, would you like some? Yes. How about you and I just, uh, you know, go up? You're not a woman, are you? No. Fuck it. I heard there was an apparition or a poltergeist or a phantasm or a banshee or a wraith or a demon or a specter. What, what, excuse me, what, what is a Ghostbuster? Carrying around 80 pounds of proton accelerator is not fun. We use our proton pack to lasso uh, dead spirits and then we use our trap to uh, entrap them. You said it's nuclear, so you're bringing something nuclear into a uh, area where there are small children around? We've met a lot of folks, seen a lot of interesting people. Oh my, Zach Lavoie! It's, hey everybody, it's Zach Lavoie, remember from the, the show! Oh my god, Zach Lavoie, what are you doing here? I'm uh, just here to, you know, uh, well, I'm working a job, all right? Oh, but that is great news, because when we last left you, you were down and out, really didn't have anything going for you. For some reason, guys, I don't know oh, what it is. crap. But being around you, my nards are really hurting. I really think that... The oh, that'll go away with time. This, this has got a point to this. I mean, really, you're going to stop me? Well, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing here? What, what, what is exactly you're doing? I see you, you're dressed up like that one guy earlier. Uh, go Ghostbusters, right? Listen, I'm here as part of a work release program. It's really, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to get by. And I got you media types coming up to me all the time. Yo, work work release. Wait, excuse you know me, what? work work release? You're sterile now, asshole. Let's go. Oh, God. 
it's, it's bad enough that I get stopped on the street by the average Joe, but then you guys got your dick cameras here and your fucking microphones. You know, you know what, fuck this. Get out. He's a media whore. Who knew? <laughs> Well, it's been a long, long, grueling experience here at the Chicago Comic Con. And if it has taught me anything, it is that I am never coming to one of these god-awful things again. If you'll excuse me, I'm going home to watch the stench of failure off my skin. I'm Trent Trendsetter. Yikes, no diggity. Boom, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Rock on, guys. Woo! Comic Con. <laughs>